I bought an entire shipping container in order to contain one of the world's largest snakes. If we're gonna complete this build on time, we're definitely gonna have to think outside the box. And this is a really big box. What did you get? New baby snakes. Best way to start to, ooh, 13 in this one. This is from a pair of pure super dwarves. I got babies from the dad, I got babies from the mom. I have never seen the dad and the mom together. Let's see what they do. Oh, man, they are cute. Look at these little guys. That's pretty nice, I like that packaging. So the parents of these were siblings. They're line breeding to see what genetics had going on. So they're just pure super dwarf. Look at that pattern. That's crazy. Look at the banding on it. It's huge, thick black borders. These are sick. Whoo! Smell that? Smells like a pure super dwarf. Well, I don't know that we'll take them out. They look kind of juicy. But there's the size for you on a pair of proven breeders. I haven't seen these ones yet. They're raised and bred by somebody else. Pretty cool. So those are mom and dad. There's the babies. All right, last box. Oh, yeah. These are some. Kinnick Connects from Andrew Acevedo. Beautiful tigers. Look at the crazy banding on that one. That's nice. Like an Anery Platinum Tiger. Platy Sun Tiger. Nice normals. You can see the, the cross influences in those ones as well. There you go. You can have fun with those ones, Joe. All right, let's get today started. We have this cool idea that we already talked about on the vlog. It creates a lot of issues. First of all, that container is huge. Secondly, it's really heavy. I love the idea of having it upstairs here because it frees up all that space downstairs. But to get it in here, it's eight feet by what, eight and a half tall. So even if we like cut pieces together, you know, our doorways are only just over seven feet tall. We either are gonna have to cut the building or cut the container to get it in here. The building would be a nightmare to cut, but that's the type of work I'm more familiar with is like, you know, building and framing and stuff like that. Welding is a much more challenging issue for us. So if I'm gonna like kind of crappy chic this sucker together, I gotta figure out how to avoid welding as much as possible, but I still need obviously this thing to end up as a sturdy cage if I'm cutting it all to pieces and putting it back in here because it's gonna house <laughs> one, of the world, one of the world's largest snakes. Watch your step there. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. It's nice because this room is broken into these sections. Like you can see where we have the, the old trade show booth here as like a segment and the shipping container would sit just inside that. But structurally, how tall is this? <laughs> So this is under eight feet, and that thing's eight and a half feet tall, and the doors have to swing. So you have to consider where they'll swing out. This is like, these things are bulky. You know what though? Like, this is not the same as this. This is a super old post. This is obviously like trim. I mean, I've climbed up there a couple of times. It doesn't look like anything but like- The top is open, right? Beams, yeah. What do those beams look like? Are you able to parkour your way up there again? and? Take this with you, get a measurement, see what those are like. Are they, clearly they're structural. How beefy are they? Maybe we can shift the whole structural side from the shipping container, because like cutting through major structural components, it's kind of like the frame of a vehicle out there, right? You cut through that, you got to put it back together to make it structurally sound. Unless if the beams are capable and we can use them as the structure of the building, I'd have to rethink the whole thing, but we might be able to do the parts that I'm good at or that are easier and avoid all the parts that are hard and still end up with a product that is just as good in the end. You know, we can't take the whole ceiling off and just crane a shipping container in here. Honestly, I don't know if the floor would, the floor would be able to handle that anyways if we used the, all, the full weight of all the metal that's on those things. Yeah, why don't you jump up top real quick? This is not parkour proof. What? Man, these beams look old. You got that right. Get your cell phone on you? Yeah. Film, film inside there for me. Well, I think those foundation stones downstairs said that this was like from their mid 1800s or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like inside. Oh, I'm not, this is left hand. Jeez, man. <laughs> Oh, 
Torque floor. Yeah, so you've got the main main beam going right here. It looks huge, beefy thing. You okay there? I'm just breathing hard, man. You're kind of uh, kind of shaking. You good? Yeah. All right. Main beam here, and then it looks like a, a little two by four frame. So I think if we tear this stuff up, you know, you're gonna gain that much more space. We might be able to use the structure of this thing. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go back to square one. I think if we can adapt, we can come up with something pretty cool. For All right, well, we got a big mess and we got some open beams here. These are huge. These are huge. They look really sturdy. That's pretty cool. Um, honestly, I have no idea if you were going for this rustic theme, why you would wrap the original awesome beams. Look at this sucker. This one is huge. Like this is just a, a tree. Like how big is that circular saw <laughs> that milled this thing down? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's massive, it's, it's super rustic, but I, I like that look with, between the wood and the metal. So I think what we're gonna do is tear all this stuff down, rip off the rest of it. This was a ton of work, you know what I mean? I've already got all these pieces out just to see if it'll work. I think it will work. I might need some help. Fortunately, we have some people willing to help. That's what's awesome about you guys uh, with our YouTube and Patreon community. But I think if I can get some help to kind of do some of this work and I can plan out what we're gonna do with that container. I mean, the, the cool thing is we can do it. We, this would actually be increasing the size of it a little bit because you guys see where the blue tape was? We had already mapped the cage out, but you're like a few feet inside of here, a few feet inside of here, and then the ceiling would actually be lower as well. So if we take the pieces we need from the container so that it still has that kind of container build look and everything that we're going for, but we hybridize the structure with the existing structure of the building, we will increase the size a little bit, which will be especially good for our Jeep, right? That Jeep is big. It's like six feet across and the container's only eight feet. By adding a couple more feet, that's gonna be awesome. And I, I think what we can do then too, as you come through this door, if you're coming in this way and it opens up here, we should just maximize the view into the enclosure by framing out this section, maybe utilizing some of the shipping container parts that we need. But like if we make sides into ends and ends into sides where we need, we can still use the doors to get in as the structure. And then we'll have to obviously invest in some glass and stuff. But using that, I got to draw this out. I think it's going to work. Dude, I think I tweaked the rib when I did that or something. Something on my back is like yeah, you looked tighter up, than normal. You looked a little uh, maybe, shaky on the landing. Yeah, you look more like me or me or Rob than you did on that. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting old, man. I don't know. I'll have to see, <laughs> but hopefully it feels better. So what I'm thinking is if this is a corner post with the doors on the back, we can utilize the strength of the metal post here with the door going back that way. And then if I can cut like I-beams and the bottom piece here, um, then I can use fasteners like bolts or whatever to bolt this piece onto here. It wouldn't have originally come from there. I'm gonna have to actually, like where it's connected here now, I'll have to move it out to here, but I think the look will be the same. And then on the other side, this is where I was talking about like when you walk through, you'll see the main thing. This is bigger, this is the wooden beam that's existing and here's that wall. What we can do is make it look like it was the end of the container. Now our container has doors on the end. We'll save those for another project another time. But if we take the side of the container, the bottom I-beam with these pieces, it's okay that it's wider because we have 20 feet of that. So that'll easily span the 10 or 12 feet or whatever it is here. And then glass the top of it in. I think that'll work. It's literally just drilling holes, adding some brackets, and bracing thing, the thing together, it should be strong enough. That, you know, it's like those beams are strong enough to hold this entire building up. They're strong enough to have some little pieces on here. So I think we can do it. I th we're still gonna have to, if I wanna put the two doors together, we're gonna have to split the seam on those, figure out how to weld them to where they can bolt back together. But the idea would be 
even if there's a little bit of welding, it can be done outside, everything will be bolted together when it comes back in. That's gonna expedite this process. That original projection that was even scaring everybody with the original idea, I was like, I wanna have it done by the end of this year, end of 2022. I think we get this done, at least the structure up, hopefully by end of next month, just by tweaking the design around the process instead of inventing a process around the design for efficiency. Sounds crazy enough in my work. Ooh, sneak peeks, sneak peeks. That's pretty sick. Yeah. You can throw a placeholder on it though. Like if you just make a perfect circle at the right diameter and line that edges up. Oh. All right guys, so my ribs been hurting. Ever since I climbed up that wall, it hurts to sneeze. I thought I just pulled a muscle at first, but like it just, the pain never like subsided or went away. So ooh, I think we have to go to a chiropractor for that. Good thing there's one right across the street. I'll tell you what, we are pretty conveniently located. We need to go to a vet, there's a vet. If we need to go to a chiropractor, there's the chiropractor. All right, you ready? God bless America. Hey, are you intimidated? No. Do you go to the chiropractor a lot? I've never been to the chiropractor. Have you ever relocated a dislocated rib? Uh, I tried with a door frame. Oh, that should be better than that. It feels better when it's fixed. Hello. Okay. Oh, yeah, in just a second. Sounds good. Oh my gosh, do they have these for everything? <laughs> Literally. That is very specific. Do they have the reptile keeper's soul? No, they don't because reptile keepers don't have souls. Ouch. I'm now a reptile keeper, I guess, too. So. Garbage you are tanks official. are doing all right. I-C-K-E-R. And your current symptoms, a rib, right? Side. Yeah, right, Le or left okay. side. That's what I keep telling been them. To a chiropractor? Yeah. Never been. Never? This guy's been a chiropractor for 50 years. What do you think of that? Right. I think you're in very capable hands. Could get that rib back in there. Don't be nervous. <clears throat> it's for content. Okay. Aside from the rib pain, it's for YouTube. Yeah. It's very noble. I hurt myself for YouTube. For YouTube content. Okay. Welcome to my world. Bye. You can do it. Uh, do you feel any pain? Just come in this other room. Lay face down. How'd you do? It made me want to take a nap. <laughs> I got very comfortable. Doesn't everything kind of make you want to take a nap? Not coffee. This is weird, man. Chiropractor? Yeah. Something new, huh? Something very new. You crack your bones, put them back in place? Kinda. Now you just have to go three times a week I don't for the rest of your life. Feels okay. Right at the very end when I was laying on my stomach, I could still feel it. So I was like, I mean, I get it. This guy's been practicing for 50 years, but. Might be better just to stick some chemicals in there to feel better. Maybe. Might have to try that one. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Mommy, bring you to work. I just got back from Thomas, taking Thomas to the doctor. All right, you need a job for today? Yep. Okay, I got a job for you. You ready? Mm-hmm. We want to take all these black screws out and put them in this can. Can you do this for a while? Yeah, I can do all the wood. All right, that's fine. All I, all I need is to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll be done. Well, but what about behind you over here? Do I have to do all these? You better tell mom, so I'm gonna be working hard today, mom. Okay, you do that, and I'm gonna go work on the shipping container. First cut. Wish me luck. Just not blow the six thousand dollars. Oh crap! <laughs> 